up this MTV Cribs. <laughs> I sound like a star. I'm seven lead singer. I'm Carmack, lead guitarist. I'm Joe, the drummer. I'm Carl, the bassist. Describe the person to your left in three words. Big shine for it. Moody, mysterious, and dark. That's what it is. Long songwriting guru. Cool. Cornish, I'd say. Loyal, childish, and immature. So, how was it that you all first met and it sounds like a storm came to be? Uh, basically, looking at me, basically, uh, us three were in a like, school band and we were just, um, we just basically met the band to play this competition that we'd done to. Then at that gig, Joe, drummer, met, met me and uh, asked me to sing for, for his band, which, so. <laughs> So I've got him to come uh, to one of our sessions and then he's never left. What are we all fans of? The cow's bar. Nah. Black's bar, yes. It's a lot me. When was it that you all first realised music was something you wanted to pursue? Was there something specific that triggered it? As a band or individually? Individually. I, I, I just like music. Like, I've always had music around me. Like, yeah, you grow up in Yeah, you grow up in You just think, like, oh, yes, it's something like you want to do. You want to do the gigs. So I think I like, listen to an album. Yeah, yeah. I want my phone. I want to just enjoy playing live. Yeah, I just, I just yeah. think it's like a stage in your life. But I think it's like, if you listen to music, you just think, I want to get it done. So yeah, I want to play an instrument as well. Yeah, it was really good guitar. I'm playing guitar, so. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. The way kids. Individually, if you could collab with anyone, who would it be and why? I just what? Yeah. I'd probably just say to stay in like a single genre. Probably a wide house to do a beautiful to work with. I'd say pretty vicious, because we have a similar sound with like the good lads so it'd be a bit of I'm, 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 I'm thinking Acorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think something like that. I don't know, because I'd say Stone Roses. And you're exactly my favourites. But I'd now be able to be really in the books. You'd be just doing it. Oh, yeah, I know. I'll just take his crap shit over it. Everyone's in the water. Joe just had a double tap on it. Yeah, yeah. So at the start of the year you released your debut single, Emission. What were the themes behind that track? <laughs> oh, as, as in the I'll start from the lyrical perspective. Yeah. It's just uh, basically my cousin went up to Team Park for like a day and uh, we got caught we just got all of us driving sick of us. That summer I could like my clothes made for them, it was just like we went to Manchester to put out, so that's where the opening movie comes with the, the Manchester vibe. It's just a, it's just a big, like a story of all the lines in the media there have been multiple posts about single number two as well as snaps of you guys in the studio um, recording the said single. When can we expect this release? We'll say it we'll, 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 we'll say sometime this year. Yeah we will. Say it next month. 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 And um, we have a single putting putting everything into it just to try and smash our way through what mission's done. Yeah. That photo is really good music video. An That's update an update, an, an update the new band as we are starting to the new storms we are. Without giving too much away, what can you tell us about the song itself? Very good. Yes. It is. It's um it's it's an interesting yeah, like it 
technically is. It's the, I'd say it's one of our most technical songs yeah. as musician. It's pretty atmospheric, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of them songs that's got such a deep meaning and it's you got to be quite yeah. yeah. you got to be really cryptic to read it too. But just like a like a mainstream song that you could just hear anywhere and not really realise, but if like, you think really cute, you understand what we're about, really like the and stuff like that. Quite cryptic, really. <laughs> Um, individually, name one of your favourite albums of all time. I'm not doing most. What's my name? Individually, favourite album of all time. Just one of, not like your absolute favourite. One of the favourites? Yeah. Original Pirates are going to the streets for me. Just because I think my skin is an absolute genius. Oh, it's just what's the story of mine, Laura, because I just grew up with it. We did blasting on that one, that would be me. Mine's gonna be stunned by this. Mine's gonna be the song we made the same, brother. Oh, tonight you played the Leopard for JM Promotions. How do you think it went? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got a few, few new ones and good new singles. It's like good reception, really. Because yeah, like, what you said about you only judge. Yeah, yeah. Well, you are basically yeah, last week and I could walk away Yeah, yeah. 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 Got a few new ones and then went down the reception. Uh, yeah. um, individually, if you could buy any instrument from anyone, dead or alive, what would it be and why? Could have any instrument? Ooh. Just from anyone that's ever lived. I'll flee the bed. Just why the fuck not? I bet you won't fucking hell with the <laughs> drums, I just take any drum with cymbals. It's a style of your cymbals. Preferably. Eric Clapton's Eric Clapton's Okay. Yeah. Oh, wild. That was wild. Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was just take We need every couple weeks, yes. So you're going on tour in September. Where is it that you're playing and where are you most looking forward to playing? I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to Newcastle because I'm having my last day at the moment. First of all, 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 first of all, we're playing Newcastle, Manchester, Liverpool and Sheffield. Yeah, I know. Sheffield, Manchester. I, I, think, I think the crucial city is if, like, if you want to be in a band, you've got to come yeah. to It's like we're, we're up from all the way there. Yeah. We don't, I'm not looking forward to that. We never turn into a gig, not looking forward to playing. Like, we just yeah. make a gig. We go there open mind, yeah. Give it our home because we're yeah. <laughs> you never know what's that watching, do you? Mm. Yeah, anyway. If you could play anywhere in the world, where would it be? I'd say yeah, class. Or a quick one. Like, I've had a home. Yeah, but we'll never with that crowd. Yeah. No, with that crowd, I don't know. Just one of them massive gigs. What about being the first lead band to start the first band? Yeah, because it's not lead bands, but... Just, just big gigs. Yeah, that's that's not a decent group. That's anywhere in the world, though. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere in the world. <laughs> I'd play in LA, I mean. LA. LA. That'd be a dream. Yeah, yeah Australia. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. 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 Australia. Where the outdoor, like, festivals in Australia. Yeah. 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 Where you go on stage and come back with a town. That's all. <laughs> Other than playing where you guys just mentioned, what are the biggest hopes, dreams and ambitions for Sound Like a Storm? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It's first time I've ever seen it. I just want to be the biggest we can take it. Yeah, yeah. Like, the biggest we can take it is a small shit that you do. That's all we're meant to do. I think we can do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. 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 Probably like a stereophonics where you can release like 10 albums and albums. Yeah, just make it as much music as you can do. If people dig it, you provide them to it. Yeah, just that is the job really. But big, big, big gigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out of all the up and coming bands and artists out there, who it sounds like a storm listening to? Listening to up and coming. Red Faces, yeah. Red Time Sellers, Time Sellers, Sheaves, Our Blinders. I'm loving Tom Brennan. Tom Brennan. I'm yeah. probably signed now. Pretty vicious. Pretty vicious, yeah. 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 They deserve to be huge. Glass Caves. Glass, Glass Caves. Caves. There's a lot of bands, yeah, a lot. 
Oh, Mine is the next single. What can we expect from you throughout the rest of 2017? We've got a big lead there. Is it Holy Trinity Church? Yeah. 11th of November. Supporting Edward Duke. Supporting Edward Duke. And then we have got. Like Bing. We're playing York and Edward Duke. And then we've got. 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 That's everything. Sweet. We love something. Yeah.